looks like your average American game, right? Wrong. In this video, I will invite Europe as Mexican American theocracy. You don't really need to watch the first part to understand what's going on here. Basically, I colonized Mexico as Portugal, dumped all of my mana points and money into Mexico, and gave it away some colonized provinces. The result is this extremely powerful and rich USA. Anyway, let's start with taking this H ability, or score cost reduction. We are Protestant America, by the way, I think that's the best religion in our situation. And first, before forming America, I formed Texas. So we don't have any penalties against heretic and heathen provinces. We do have no tax superiority and we have quite big army. Although yes, we have some exclaves, I will need to deal with this. So I'm thinking I should change this aspect of faith just because I already completed all of my ideas. Let's change it to something more practical. Maybe let's take morale. Playing historical USA, natives literally don't stand a chance. Well, they're trying, but they won't win. With my free money, I'm building my factories. Also, by the way, we need a little bit more technologies to truly benefit from them. Right now, I can build manufacturers only on bad goods. Okay, let's pass out Peoria, maybe some money. One more native is out of the picture. Well, I just love these events, especially when we have this gold income. And just one inflation, like, very cheap. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with these riches. Anyway, let's finish this mission, and let's start building. One more province going to USA. And by the way, I don't know if it's a bug, but if you choose an ex-mancretary tribe, they usually accept, but if you conquer them directly, as you can see, they get malice for being annexed, which is quite interesting. Yes, it's more expensive, but still weird. Okay, let's conquer these natives. Sorry, Canadians have to take your land. Ontario was always an integral part of the United States of America. So my plan is currently simple. I will try to cobble up natives, and then we can invade Europe. Well, to be honest, I'm finishing colonies even too fast. Soon I won't even know what to do with my colonists. Let's take cheap trade power propagation, because I need Caribbean. Caribbean is the most important trade node in Americas, but I don't really control it. Only 57%, that's not good. Well, to be honest, uh, keep trade in Caribbean is quite difficult, because it flows into a lot of European nations. Yes, I do love American events. Seriously, America has a lot of events. Second Gold Rush, I don't know what kind of fuck is this, to be honest. But okay, I guess. Maybe it's influenced uh, by amount of gold you produce. Next time, I definitely take humans ideas. Humans are defensive. To forget about rebels. Truce with Greek has ended, let's spread our democracy. I'm thinking I should invest in bigger navy. One fleet to defend home, one fleet to invade others. Also, by the way, I can join Protestant League. Let's see who will join the Catholic one and I will decide. Let's also continue fortification of America. Let's annex Cahokia, White Peace Kispoko, or maybe some money, and conquer Fox. New idea group, I think I will take either offensive or humanist. Or diplomatic. Well, Ideally, I want diplomatic, offensive, humanist and admin for Blobin. I will, I think, revoke these ideas. Right now, let's take humanist, I think. Let's annex Fox, and I think we can Pissau Creek. And I finally can make very good manufacturers. Look at this. Plus one profit just from production. You know what? I've decided that it may be a bad idea. I will leave European matters to Europeans. Instead, when they are weak, I will strike and conquer them. Well, that's quite sweet bonus. That's quite sweet. You know, maybe generic missions aren't that bad. Let's spam manufacturers. I'm thinking let's maybe declare on Kaskui. I want to quickly deal with natives. Then we can do whatever we want. Okay, let's start with peace and tribes. And now let's peace out. Okay, perfect. I think that should be enough of natives for the time being. America is on the verge of disaster, but most likely that won't happen. I will be able to core everything. Let's also strengthen garment a little bit. Well, it seems I shouldn't have gone over 100 over extension. It was a bad idea. On the other hand, free army tradition. Also good. It seems Spain is conquering Portugal. Well, good luck. Look, they've full occupied them, but only 39 war score. Gotta be painful. Well, it seems it's the best moment to beat up Portugal. Although Great Britain will support them. Okay, I think I need to find some allies. Ottomans will do. Also, by the way, it might be a good moment to declare not on Portugal, but on Great Britain. Portugal won't support it. They will break their alliance. And then I can come for Portugal. Sounds good. Let's do it then, I guess. Also, by the way, I just understood that I need more cannons. 40 cannons should be enough. It's already quite late, we need some cannons. And now that's better. Although I guess my army will be extremely expensive right now, let's see. Although no, by the way, I won't even feel it. The power of capitalism. Also, the war of the Protestant League. Just what I asked for. I'll wait until Sweden won't join. Eventually it won't. Also, let's embrace printing press. I kinda even forgot. Okay, neither Sweden nor Portugal will join. It's time to rock. Let's do it. First, I need to make some naval legends. Let's go. And in the meanwhile, I will try to piss out Newfoundland. Let's put on auto siege. Don't even want to bother. Okay, as 9th Carmen reform, I think I will take this one. 
Anyway, losing 60 absolutism for every ruler is quite harsh, I don't know if I should take it. Oh, they know what, okay, let's take it. Plus 2 year absolutism and plus 10 for each election should offset it, at least. So I have tons of money, but I don't have manpower, so I think I will hire some mercenaries here to help with Britain. It seems I can already finish this whole branch, how interesting. Well, to be honest, considering that USA have got its own DLC, the mission tree is kinda awful. Not even kinda, it's awful. Just awful. Ireland is being liberated. Also, by the way, why is man independent? Really interesting. I think maybe let's get some reinforcements to Ireland. I need all the help I could get. And by the way, look how I'm slaughtering British. Well, they are quite stubborn. They're repeating the same, expecting different result. Although, by the way, they also got some reinforcements. Not bad. Well, ironically, I may run out of men. Um, well. Well, I don't know what I expected when I went against British. Okay then, let's not escalate. So they still don't want to piss out on good terms, so I will wait for a little bit more. Brilliant move, England. Brilliant move. Anyway, when will they piss out? I'm already tired. Well, I want to take London, but it seems no London for me. Also, I think I understood the problem. I didn't upgrade my ships. Okay, now it should be okay. That's why they steamrolled me. Well, technically I can try to win without navy, if I could bring my troops here. But that's not really easy, you know? Okay, they made their naval landing, let's just piss out. So obviously I'm going to take North American province. Maybe let's also take this one, let's see. Yes, I need to take these two provinces. And I think I would take two Irish provinces. The true owner of Northern Ireland is revealed. Anyway, now I'm going to declare on Portugal. Maybe I kinda lost against Great Britain, but that won't stop me. Let's buy more transports. Also, you say number one. Also, by the way, New Providence. Hello there. Let's build Spain network. And what about Ottomans? How are they? It seems they don't even know me. Because in relations with Spain, we have a chance to allay it. I think, by the way, I should fortify our new holdings. Yes, I can't right now, but I will. I need to defend from Great Britain. Anyway, let's declare on Portugal. Portugal is not Great Britain, they don't even stand a chance. Although, of course, automatic transport is not the smartest. Well, I think I will abandon colonial stuff and start getting something more useful. We already have a lot of colonies. Maybe let's get some manpower. And finally finished humanist ideas. I'm thinking I should replace plutocratic with offensive and exploration with diplomatic. Although not sure when I will do it. What peace journeys and we can peace out Portugal. So I'm thinking I will try to fully annex it. I just need to make sure Spain won't enter the coalition. Let's confirm in South France. Okay, now we should be good to go. Yes, just for annexation. Or are they still alive? One second. They... Oh my god, I forgot. Okay, it saves coming time. Once again, let's let peace journeys. There we go. And once again I will fully annex Portugal. This time I mean fully. Once again let's fully install France. And let's piss out. And let's quickly allow Spain so at least if it even breaks our lines we will get truth. Okay, now let's check Portugal. Is it still alive? Oh my god. Well, we still won't be able to fully annex it so I'll we'll let it be. And let's just forgive our previous overlord. Anyway, now we have beaten up our original colonizer. And even cut some provinces in Sevilla. Well, I could in theory edit to trade company, but I won't, because it's my culture. Why would I do it? Yes, we are Mexican, United States. And Portuguese is of our culture. Oh my god, I forgot about this province. Well, it seems Portugal, I'm sorry, but I won't let you be. Also, I think I will try to upgrade White House. What's America without White House, after all? And let's start going in era, by the way. Interesting. Well, okay, I guess. Well, very good, very good. It's even shame that France didn't colonize Louisiana. I would buy it. Anyway, we just got Spanish province in America for free. Let's finish two missions first. This one, United Com region. Second, this one, Defend Liberty. 50 army tradition, 100 army tradition. Very good. Let's also get Conquer Florida and All Man River. Now we can colonize even faster. Well, anyway, basically now uh, let's quickly make as many generals as possible. Oh my god, it's perfect. And it seems it's time to show who we really are. Let's also pre claim on Bahamas and conquer them. Okay, let's peacefully accept one more state. And let's continue. Okay, let's fabricate on British. Although to be honest, I don't even know how I would actually do anything against them. They really have very good navy. Well, I'm building 10 more ships, maybe it would be enough, but I doubt. So I'm thinking I can and I should move my trading port here. It's better than Chesapeake. Here it is, new American fleet. Good luck British. Do something against this monster. Okay, I'm thinking I should try to spawn local trade. I think Caribbean can try to become one. Just need to start transferring just before it spawns. Okay, let's prepare for war. Surrender, British. Your time has come. Let's try to find even better generals. Oh my god, just perfect. Anyway, should be enough. Let's fire the worst ones. And let's go. So, I need to quickly occupy this province so I can move my troops. Most likely my navy will still lose against British, just because they're, well, British after all. Navy is their whole personality. Anyway, you can destroy my navy, British. They didn't. Perfect. Let's start the hunt. Well, that's your last war. 
and last chance to enjoy your hegemony. Well guys, I think that's a perfect illustration of what's wrong with E4 sieges. Anyway, we won, let's continue. The march to London. Northumberland is ours, now straight to London. Right now I think I will take trade agenda, uh, just so I can try to spawn global trade. Oh my god, these bribes are getting expensive. Oh, by the way, I forgot about Canada. Well, doubt I lost much, let's just put on carpet siege. Okay, let's pass out. I will just take these tier provinces. Well, I could take more, but I'm afraid that it won't really work out, that I will get some coalition. Well, to be honest, I'm not really afraid of coalitions, but it will slow me down. Let's do it gradually, one by one. Well, they are quite stubborn. I want to take some war operations, but okay, let's not do it, because they already got to Ireland. Let's just take a little bit of money. And of course, they will make British provinces our train company. Let's even get some upgrades. Already 30% in English Channel. Oh, okay, 20. Still not bad. Okay, let's start propping up Caribbeans. Let's collect one transfer. Let's transfer from here, if I can. Almost, almost, I need a little bit more. Okay, maybe let's collect. Just need 17 ducats. Not easy, not easy. Maybe... Hmm, okay, let's try to develop some provinces. Maybe that will help. Maybe some cocoa. Yes. Let's check out now. And bad, bad, not good. Okay, our last chance. No, it's spawned in London. Anyway, I tried. And that's what's the most important. In theory, I think I could have spawned global trade, but well... It was very close, it was extremely close. Anyway, no sense in whining, let's continue making money. Sorry Spain, but no. Literally, they didn't even help me and they demand me to help them. Anyway, that might be a very good opportunity to jump onto France. You know you're in danger when America parked their heavy ships right nearby. Anyway, I forgot to bring my troops from America, so let's do it. Okay, here we go, reinforcements are here. It's time for Normandy. Normandy landings 0.1. And Paris is each town. Well, I think we can start carpet siege. And first, administrative efficiency upgrade. Very important. Now we will be able to get 10% more land. It seems American Navy once again lost for some reason. Anyway, that won't help France. Okay, let's start modestly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get first some provinces in English Channel. Quite important. And second, now I can release Brittany. Let's do it. Here it is. And now I can release Cascania. Well, at least I will have some strong calls here. And the truth, the Portugal has expired. Time to fully concrete, finally. Let's take military principle, and it should almost eradicate all of our rebels. Humanist minus 10 years of separatism, and this one minus 5. And by the way, soon absolutism will appear, so I think I will leave Portugal alone, I will leave it on province, and plus cancel subject, and I'm going to prepare for absolutism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept demands of Portugalists, Let's wait for a bit more. Anyway, here it is. Let's accept demands. It's also possible to spawn them through estates. Just as land once they have less than 50 loyalty. And here it is, absolutism. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first check our absolutism. Not good, but we can live with this. And start lowering autonomy everywhere. That's going to increase our absolutism. That's the trick. And that's why I accepted demands. Let's check it now. 16. Yeah, it's not really fun, but we have to do it. Okay, I think that's it. And now we have plus 12 additional admin efficiency. Anyway, I will have to change some of our government reforms just to get more absolutism. Let's change the consolidation of power. I need to hit 100 absolutism. And let's change exploration to the magic for war score cost. Okay, let's pick up England. At least just to get the truth. Also, by the way, let's get aggressive expansion reduction instead of subtle increase. Okay, let's just quickly piss out. Just taking the provinces. We don't need more. Okay, you know what? You know what? I've been building many factories, workshops, but I haven't really been building forts. And... Forts are very important, because if I don't, if I won't build forts, everyone will just quickly occupy me, and I would need to macro a lot more. So instead we'll just start upgrading our forts. Oh, by the way, we can ally Austria. Let's do it. And we can try to declare on Spain. We certainly can, but uh, they have a lot more troops, so I'm not sure. Okay, soon our truce with France ends, and France is a lot better target. We can just carry favors with Austria, so it breaks its alliance with Spain. Here we go, 90 absolutism, but you can get more admin efficiency. I think around 13. Okay, maybe let's make burgers less influential and revoke some privileges. Each privilege is 5 absolutism. Yes, here it is. 100. And that's what I need. Anyway, let's take on friends, reconquest, and let's go. Ottomans won't help it. Well, to be honest, friends is not my biggest threat. There are worse ones, like Spain, for example. And not sure what friends expects to do. Literally no chance. Okay, maybe that was said prematurely. Maybe I had some setbacks, but overall the war is going great. Okay, anyway, now let's choose some new policies. Like this one, for example. Plus 20 relations. Late game wars are just pain. Pure pain. Okay, let's see, maybe I can pass out right now. Because that's very difficult to continue. Not really. Well, I can try, but 
is not what I want. Okay, let's try to curb siege friends, maybe they will surrender, I don't know. Okay, let's just put it like this, was my mistake, unfortunate mistake. I should have put more troops in North American, but well. Anyway, the problem now is that I don't really have manpower, which is quite bad. Well, at least Normandy is ours, or I guess. Okay, here we go, 18th mil tech, and now we can finally declare on England. I was waiting for this. Let's go, I guess. Finally, US Navy shows its superiority. It's not as bad. Okay, let's pick up Britain. Once again, it's very difficult to get a war score, but at least we finally got continuous land in Great Britain. And as next idea group, let's take admin, I think. Finally, switch ability idea. I think wars will be a little bit easier now. Just a little bit. Before the Queen offense, let's hire some mercenaries so the previous situation doesn't repeat. And uh, let's move to France. So my plan is as follows. First, beat up France, then break Austrian allies with Spain and try to beat up Spain. Also, let's start annexing Britannia. And let's declare. This time I will try to micro a little bit more so the history doesn't repeat. Like in my previous try, I spent all of my manpower and lost all Mexico. Also, by the way, New Flanders declared as their rival. It's like they're independent, really? No. Interesting. Once again, let's siege Paris. I hope France didn't prepare any traps for me. It could. The siege of Paris is over. All the worst forts are here, not French ones, but Italian ones. They're on mountains. We are going deeper and deeper, which is good. What's bad is that it's kinda even too easy, I don't know, I'm suspicious. Something's going on, something's fishy. Let's by the way build more artillery. I kinda have low proportion of infantry to artillery, I need to fix it. Let's once again upgrade our ships, let's see how much it costs. Well, not cheap, not cheap, but we are United States of America. We have to do it after all. Also, where are French minions? What are they doing? Are they unloyal or what? Okay, this time it went surprisingly smoothly. Let's prepare for invasion of Spain. So here is my basic peace deal. Uh, let's see who will be angry. A lot of people actually, a lot of people. I'm going to peace out on December 31st. Yeah, it went surprisingly good. Don't know how it happened, but well, not against it. Okay, I was a little bit stupid and missed the moment, but not a big deal. Okay, I think it should be safe to peace out now. Although I forgot to take admin efficiency. Well, anyway, not a big deal. Will help me against Spain. Anyway, let's break their alliance. Break alliance Spain. And, well, that's not really good either. Well, I need to think, I need to think. Well, I know that AI are idiots, so maybe it will help me, but they do have a lot more troops. Well, I think right now we can just declare on Great Britain. Let's go, I guess. Maybe let's go in Austria. Okay, we are starting with the wiping British. Already good. Let's continue. Okay, that was stupid. But still, British aren't really in their prime shape. Let's continue. We surrounded Great Britain. Okay, they're trying to run away, but that won't help. Here goes the wiped whole British army. Let's pass out, I guess. Don't want to take much. Well, not don't want to. Well, more like I can't because of coalitions. I need to pick up Spain. Okay, anyway, let's pass out, I guess. And now I need to think on how to beat Spain. Not going to be easy. Let's get some manpower this time, I hope. Please, manpower. Okay, here it is. Recovery speed. Let's take morale of armies, crunch form. And let's check our quality. Well, we have the biggest morale in the world. But Spain also is quite good. And they've got discipline. Okay, here we go. Finally, I will have enough of discipline. Let's take this policy. And let's take cooperation cost. Also very important. Okay, let's embrace global trade finally. And I'm not sure on what to do with Spain. It is quite a difficult target. Well, I can try to hire some mercenaries that may be enough, but not sure, not sure. Let's see now. I'll close, but no, they would obliterate me. I just need to find some allies. So I think I understood what we need. To beat Spain, first we need to get more cans. Let's build 40. Second, we need to forget about Austria. First, let's of course reduce their opinion so they don't ally each other and I will try to like Commonwealth. It's the best path right now. Okay, reduce opinions, Spain. Now let's break our alliance and ally Commonwealth. Let's conflict insult Spain. Okay, here we go. Now I will carry favors and we will declare together. Okay, let's make last upgrade of White House. Also, right now Spain is at war against England and that might be a very good opportunity. Integrated Brittany, very good. The English Civil War, just perfect. Basically maimed all of my rivals. Only Mamluks and Spain are alive, but well, we'll deal with them later. Well, truce with English has ended. Don't bother me. They're in no position to enter the coalition. By the way, here it is. 10 favors we can try to declare on Spain. Interesting. Look at this. Even with full support of Commonwealth, we are not really that strong. Well, let's go, I guess. The best moment to declare is right now. We need to weaken Spain. Well, the first siege was extremely fast and easy. You might ask why am I sieging like this and not from Portugal. Well, yes, maybe there is mountains, but that means that Spain will also need to encounter them. And I have element of surprise. I can teach this fort faster. Okay, time to siege first mountain fort. Now we can go to Spain. Yeah, it's not easy, but what can we do? Barcelona is ours, let's continue. 
Yeah, it's very micro intensive to be honest. Barcelona is sieged, let's continue. My plan is to fully occupy Spain and commit some war crimes. Like this, for example. The more devastation, the better. You recall, the war is going just great. But I don't have a clue what Commonwealth is doing, to be honest. Ah, okay, Italy. Well, that was fast. If you wonder what's going on, why am I so good? Not because of this, general. Yeah, five siege, I know. At least right now, I'm just massacring Spanish men. Look at this. Oh no, okay. Not massacring, but, well, could have went worse. Onwards to the Lido. Oh my god, yeah, I remember now why I don't like to play late game EU4. Micro is pain. Should have played H3. The Siege of Toledo is over quite fast. This Trilands, 35 development, seriously. Stack wiped Spanish man, quite cool. Spain is going in on Mountain Fort, not really smart. Okay, not on the mountain, but on Highlands, still not good. Demotization of Spain is going successfully, although my man power doesn't really agree. Let's maybe hire a little bit more mercenaries. Spain went quantity. That's why they have so many troops. To be honest, I hate when AI goes quantity. It's really the worst thing that can happen. Let's piss out Tuscany, I will break its alliance with Spain. Now I just need support of Commonwealth and we can piss out. Or no, maybe not. Why piss out if we can turn Spain into dust? Destroy Spain. Okay, here it is, manpower issue, let's do it. Yeah, prepping is quite difficult. I'm already not even watching what I'm doing. Let's scorch Earth, we need to wipe the Spain of the map. We need to destroy all Spanish villages. Stack by Spanish army, but well, like I said, we also have quite big losses. Well, thankfully we have parliament, so we can try to replenish them. Okay, I think I need to hire one more mercenary company. We will be over force limit, but well, can't do anything. Such is life. Well, good news is that I can commit war crimes on the whole Iberian Peninsula. Bad news is that I'm still not really close to winning. And I hate Spain, it's just insufferable. It just came here and siege and everything. So my call in this war is not to conquer whole Spain, but to cripple it. Make it unviable, make it failed state. You see? If I just take southern France or whatever, it will recover. It will recover and that next war is going to be as difficult as this one. But no, I won't let it recover. I won't, believe me. Spain won't live unpunished. I'm going to literally destroy Spain. Scorch Earth tactics. All Spain will turn into wasteland. And by the way, I can try to stack wipe this stack. Let's do it. You might think that I'm overreacting, but believe me, it's better to overdo than not do enough. Well, that's even kinda beautiful, you know? Like... 30, 20, perfect, literally perfect. No one is going to live in Spain. No one. Yes, it costs a lot of mil mana, but I think it's more than worth it, you know? So usually, if Spain wasn't so strong, I would just take some centers of trade, balkanize it, you know? But of course, it's not so simple. Right now, it's just too strong. Like, literally too strong. So maybe what I want to do is to let it get some deaths, let devastation pile up, you know? And only then peace out. We can survive a few years of call for peace. I have too much mana, I will just lower our exhaustion like this. We destroy Spanish fleet, very good. We need to do everything possible to not let Spain recover. By the way, they already have some kind of disaster, quite interesting. It also seems we can declare on France, I guess. Oh, we can. Maybe let's even do it. Oh, it's not like Spain is a problem right now. It's basically neutralized. I'm just trying to maximize casualties, you know, like, to destroy them. To make them take as many loans as possible. Also, I think I will replace expansion ideas with espionage. Why is Pianash well? Because of great expansion. Oh, then you know what? I'll just piss out. Yes, let's just piss out. Why do I think so? Well, because for Spain is too big right now. Well, it doesn't really get a lot of money right now, but... Well, to truly cripple it, I would need to do it like for a few more decades, and my work exhaustion would be ugly if I do this. So instead, what I'll do is I will conquer all centers of trade in Sevilla. All of them. Yes, every last one of them. And by doing this, Spain will lose all of its income. Let's assign them to trade companies. Okay, perfect, 73%. I just need to leave Spain without any income. Also, you might wonder, why did I take Granta? Well, the answer is simple, just because it has this wonderful monument. It will give us plus 5 admin efficiency. Okay, guys, let's declare on France. Well, it's not difficult to beat up France. I would even say it's extremely easy. Well, to be honest, we're already quite powerful. The only threat is Spain. And I've basically neutralized it. Well, almost. Okay, we almost can get admin efficiency from Alhambra. I also want to conquer Malta, because there is also a very cool monument. Here it is, Malta Forts. Minus 15, worst score cost versus other legions. Tech white French, quite good. Okay, let's piss out France. God bless admin efficiency. Anyway, now we encircle France. That should be enough for now. Okay, so now I have few choices. I can either declare on England or... Oh, wait until I can do so on Spain. 
And here it is, plus 5 enemy efficiency. Well, I have quite long truce with Spain, so maybe let's just conquer something from Great Britain. Ok, let's pursue Great Britain. Nothing much, just a few provinces. Also, I will start allying electors. Ok, I allied all of electors. That will be important later. As next at the group, let's take one team. Just for manpower. It's time to steamroll Spain. Finally, we have quite big advantage. Also, by the way, I made some new ships. Let's get them here. Well, this war is definitely easier. A lot easier. Ok, let's pass out Malta. Ok, I caught Malta. Let's quickly upgrade this monument. Perfect. Now let's see. Well, yeah, that's quite not bad. That's quite not bad. Ok, let's just pass out already. Well, I want to take also Grace, but... Well, they siege their fort and they need to, to siege it once again. Not good. Would take out too long. Our extension is just a number late game. Oh yes, I remember now. France is granted by Spain. Well, anyway, not a big deal. I will wait for our course to finish and we will quickly wait for Spain. Ok, now let's declare on France. I just love humanist ideas. We've been two years with over 100 of extension and that's the only rebels. And here we go. Our course already. Let's pit up Spain once again. I just need to white piece. No need for anything difficult. White piece Spain and now it will be a piece of cake. Ok, I'm already entering the phase when no one can do anything to me. Let's go to Gascony. Oh yeah, it's imperialism time. So basically imperialism is very good. First because we can declare on anyone we want. And second because, look at this. 75 costs for all provinces. Plus additional administrative efficiency. Okay, let's just piss off France. I won't take anything else. Uh, just because we all need France for Roman Empire. Although I need to piss out on December. Okay, let's piss out. Let's also declare on Saxony and dismantle HRE. That's why I allied so many electors. I need to occupy Dresden and I need to occupy Bohemian capital, Praha. That's even just assault. And that's assault Praha. And we can click one funny button. Rain. Oh yes, I forgot about Lorraine. Okay, and now we can dismantle HRE. Basically, I just allied everyone and occupied capitals of those who didn't want to ally. The empire dismantled, now we can wait peace. HRE is no more. Let's once again pick up Spain, with imperialism of course. Also, by the way, let's become defender of faith. Ok, let's pass out Spain. Over extension, like I said, it's just a number. Over suggestion, let's say. Anyway, I propose to take a small break from conquering Catholics and conquer Sunni. Let's start, I guess. Ok, rebels are coming down, I'm happy. Like I said, overextension is just a number. Ok, let's fill the next Ottomans. Now let's declare on Mamlux. Well, it seems Mamlux are the only ones who can actually do anything to me. Well, they are quite strong. Let's break alliances of Persia and now Mamlux are doomed. They won't be able to resist. Well, ok, I admit. Mamlux are good. Like, really good. If they won't stop, I won't have any manpower. Ok, Kahira is siege. Now victory is a question of time. Also, by the way, Canada has formed. Let's see. Well, they hate us. But well. Let them hate, I won't do anything. And I can believe this, but the last reform. Seriously, I don't remember the last time I've done this. What I'm going to do now may be considered cursed by some. Maybe not even by some, but by all of you. Proclaim divine guidance. American theocracy. Ok, now let's make some reforms. Most of them are boring, I will only show you the best one. Ok, so let's take dynastic theocracy. We are studying hard to read new cost. Person of knowledge lets us choose our heirs, which is very important. It shows us their stats. And the last reform is why I switched to theocracy. Mine 30 war score cost. Basically, we can annex any nation in one war, or maybe two. It is very powerful. But right now I won't piss out, no, I won't. I will wait for a little bit more and I will upgrade a one very good monument. Mine 33 are 3 smith cast. Paired with H ability and our reform, it should be almost free. I doubt it will be free because there are caps, but it can be almost free. Here it is, plus one stability. Now let's check out, I can't even check out the rebels. Anyway, right now I won't piss out, I will just wait for a little bit more. And now let's piss out. As you can see, one province costs just one or two war score. Very, very cheap. To be honest, I can annex everything necessary to form Roman Empire, but why I don't have that much of admin points, it would be a bad idea. Okay, let's piss out like this. And let's test out harsh treatment. Yes, quite cheap, truly quite cheap. Let's wait for some bigger separatists, like French for example. Yes, it's 5 mil mana for any separatists of any size. So basically 5 mil mana and a little bit of micro and no separatists. Ok, it's more difficult than I thought. The rebels are just crazy. Anyway, that's why stacking unjust reduction is more powerful than I think. We have 200 of extension, well almost, and still rebels are not really active let's say. This should end soon. Yes, here it is. Oh my god, ok, I won't ever repeat this again. No, I won't. Was my mistake. Ok, let's conquer Spain. Well, what's left of Spain? Ok, let's pass Spain, I will just take South Italy. Also, Commonwealth broke our lines. Uh, definitely not good. Let's see, maybe I can allow someone else. Someone strong. Scandinavia, why not? And let's allow Transoxiana. Also, let's accept Mayan culture. Well, not Mayan, but Putun. Here it is. And upgrade this monument. Minus 2 global unrest reduction. Maybe let's even take some loans. And now let's deal with Tuscany. Let's call in everyone. Maybe let's make Venice co And Age of Revolution. 
Well, let's wait peace Venice. And let's peace out Tuscany. I would be honest, I wanted to form Roman Empire, but it is already unbearable. Like, I'm already strong enough to always win, but not strong enough to not micro. And I would need to go against a lot of big nations. Anyway, still good playthrough. As you can see, no rebels, even at 100 over extension. At almost 200. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.